Besides the crazy camera work, the thing that really stands out the most in this anime is that the entire romance depends on if the girl remembers her glasses or not. If she forgets, then great, she depends on us, therefore, inevitably, we're gonna be able to bond with her. But if she doesn't forget, hasn't happened yet, then nothing will happen, I guess. So we need to just break the glasses. If she gets contact lenses, we fucking take them out and we make sure that she's blind because that's the only way the ship is going to form, I think. Let's begin today's reaction, though. The girl, I like, asked me out on episode two? No. Unless? A lot of guys are supporting girls in rom-com this season. Well, it's only two series. This and the, the Dreaming Boy is a realist. I, I can't tell if she's glad with those eyes. Because she keeps always having such a, a mean face. There's no glasses because she's squinting to try and see. But that's the appeal, I guess. Honestly, I'd be so happy if she was giving double the portions. No! What the fuck? This is worse than extra. Invite her out. Oh. This is the first time I've seen her smile like that. I don't know. This is where we ask her out to some stew place. Even better, ask her over, make stew together. Mm. Cooking with the girl, one of the best exercises. He's a bit chubby, so I guess he likes the extra meat. Come on! My boy wants to eat! What's wrong? Can she not see the meat or what? Maybe it's because there's not much stew left and she wants it? Maybe she likes the meat. Hey, yo, not like that. But isn't that meat? I think that looks like meat. She can't see. Thanks. <laughs> You're the best, Mie. Yeah, I think that's what she was thinking. Why else would she try to ration the meat, but she gave it all away? Maybe she saved it for us. Maybe it wasn't for her, but it was for him. Huh? I saved them meat for you. <laughs> I wanted to give you plenty of meat. <laughs> My fucking degenerate brain. <laughs> I'm not the only one thinking it, right? But what about you? Nah, you share it with her now. Share it with her. Yes, I love Stu. I love you. Please go out with me. Let's go. Oh, he's gonna drop it at this. She sees that. A little secret. Hey, I think there's something special here. It's bonding quite well. Shh. Don't tell him. That's a lot of potatoes. <laughs> of course, she fucking fucked. <laughs> It's the thought that counts. That cloud looks like a dick. I'm not the one thinking it, right? Another day, no glasses. Why? Because it's still broken. But no contact lenses? And now for the rest of the next three months of the seasonal anime, he's gonna forget every episode. One day contact. Knock that shit out of her hand, dude! Steal it! We need to sabotage her right now. No, you can't let her see, bro. I've never had to wear contact lenses, but I hear some people do a poor job of maintaining it and they just let it sit in there. Like, you're supposed to take it out. But see, some people just keep that shit in for days, weeks, and then it just becomes one with the eye? How does that work? We need to help her. Actually, no, we can't help her. No. Exactly! You don't need contacts! Or we have no chance with you! <laughs> Put protector from what, bro? <laughs> it's not that kind of show everybody's listening. <laughs> that was so intense. It's passionate. What have you done, my boy? But, hey, I think that's a Giga Chad move. She's not crying. I, no, she, she's not crying because of what he said. It's just the contact lens is trying to get it right. Bro, it's a thank you. But to him, this is like, I love you. <laughs> Protector from what, bro? It's not a shonen show! What the fuck? She actually remembered. Komura, take it off and 
break it before she... I don't know. She needs to be blind. Wrong glass. The lens is different or else she wouldn't be, you know, making that look. Oh, never mind. Never mind. So, uh, we need to have like a like a vaporizer, some kind of humidifier around her so that gets always foggy. No matter what, we need to impair her vision. Hold up. As long as you recognize me. This is more of a signal than just a thank you. This is actually significant. The thank you was just a thank you, but this is different. As long as... That was like six replays. <laughs> the same airplane again. <laughs> what is the airplane on standby until he fucking pops up and the airplane has to go off? Another day. Lime is lying, but... Huh. He's remembering her glasses. <laughs> to talk to you, bro. Aww. Now, so far, this is not romance. Like, is there any kind of romantic intent from her to Komura? I don't think so. I think she just finds him comfortable because, you know, he was helping her out. This is a bit... This is still... I don't know! She, the sign, the signal, the fucking airplane again! It just means that she's very comfortable around him. This is good. It's baby steps, right? <laughs> Let him savor the feeling. Oh, yes. I, I think he's nutting. Is he nutting? Are those glasses? I mean, the, the plane. That looks like a dick to the cloud. Is the plane supposed to be, you know, uh, uh, what, what's, what's the word? Metaphor, analogy of, you know, swing? Oh, he's 13? Ignore what I just said. Ooh, a sundress kind of thing. And she forgot her glasses. Of course she did. Of course she did. How the fuck did she even make it here without getting hit by a car? I haven't worn glasses, so I can't really relate. But people that actually do wear glasses, I would imagine this is something so important to you that you could never possibly forget. In fact, like your smartphone or something, you're always gonna have it. Like... Would someone with glasses really forget it this much? Then again, what's the point asking this kind of question for an anime? This is like, there's no point. Is this a date though? <laughs> Hand hold! Wrist holding, but still holding! Okay. Yo. Yo, you wanna, you wanna piggyback instead? Where's the airplane? What's the airplane? <laughs> this is totally a date. Holding hands. But... This is because, you know, everybody knows. Because, you know, she needs help. She needs the guy that she's blind. But still, everything that they're doing... It's really kind of couple-like. That's not the cake. That's the plate. She likes plates, too. <laughs> There's no way you're going to miss it in a second. How the fuck do you... So this is where he helps her eat it. Feed it to her. Feed it to her. Then it'll be very intimate. Komura, make a move! Help her! Yes. She's not against it either, of course. No, no, press it. Uh. Oh. Oh. She's assuming the position. This is, I don't know. No. Bro, what do you think you're doing right now? You're just feeding her cake while you need his blessings! The cameraman is zooming really into that mouth. I don't know. Something about this pose is... Umai. Enjoy these 11 remaining bites. Fuck. We need to get in there and break it. Komura, get in there and break those glasses. We're never gonna hold hands again! Are you just really gonna let this happen? <sighs> it's over. It's over. <laughs> exactly! It's over! <laughs> Bro! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I will never... Why not keep a bacteria culture and grow it to keep a colony of her germs? Yeah, no fucking kidding! Bye, I guess. 
But I don't think that's necessarily the case. No, no, where are you going? Even with the glasses, she still wants to be with him. What are you doing, bro? It's not over yet. <laughs> Please, I want to hang out with you more. Oh. Oh. There was a similar moment last episode too when she was like really getting close to him, right? I want to see what you look like. But hey, without the glasses, there's a lot of, you know, things that happen where you would mistakenly think that there's romance between them because she has to depend on him. But even with the glasses, then it gets a lot more intimate because now she can actually see the motherfucker. <laughs> but, you know, she actually wants to hang out. That's great. You don't need to break her glasses at all. As long as she forgets it sometimes, you know. Bye. Man, this is only episode two. We're getting a date like this? Bro, Kubo won't let me leave me alone. Fucking, that shit took like 11 episodes to get to a fucking date and date didn't even hold hands. We had to have the little brother in between to fucking indirectly hold hands. <laughs> two different shows, right? Kubo is like a very slow burn. There's no need to compare rom-coms like that. I'm just, you know, trying to make a joke, but... I do like it when the series has more of romantic developments very quick some pacing you know let's fucking go and before he wakes up and it's a dream no nah, they wouldn't do that but beyond that what do you see more than friends mm, slowly slowly the seeds of romance will bud <laughs> he's trying to realize like if this is a dream or not right sick what happened? I hear if you wear the, uh, the the mask though, like your glasses obviously gets fucked up more because when you breathe, where's the air going upwards, right? Hmm? Is this what? You think she would say? You think he would say that? No, he wouldn't. <laughs> she took it off because that's how much she cares about his opinions. That's a good thing. Man. Episode 1, I was kind of on like the... On the fence of like, is this going to be a good rom or now? But this episode, pretty damn good. I'm liking it a lot. Episode 2 and we're already on a date. She's starting to even realize her feelings for him. Bro, the pacing is so good. But... I guess this is the thing about the rom-coms. Even if the pacing is good, they can get to this point and stagnate for te fucking 10 episodes and nothing could happen. We'll see how it goes, but hey, this episode two, I'm down. Episode one, kind of on the fence, but this one, pretty damn good. But if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist on my channel for even more content. Until next time, take care.